everyone, welcome to Race 16 here at Lion Rock. We're back here for Road Course. And after this track, we'll be going to Road Atlanta. Road Courses in a row. Here in the booth, we have Frank. Hi, guys. Alright, MJ is not here. Same with Mr. NASCAR. But look at the guys that started up front. Eric Smallwood, Brandon Comfort, last week's winner, Eric Smallwood. And how about Brandon Comerford, finishing second in Sonoma and Canada. And here he starts in second. That's pretty cool there. But how about the guys behind them, Frank? Matt, we have Matt Rodriguez and Mike Kubitschek. Yeah, I'm surprised Matt Rodriguez is up there. He hasn't had a great car all season. But hey, he must have found some speed today. Yeah. And what's your take on for this race? Oh, uh, I expect a lot of cars wrecking. We did turn off cautions because we feel like that's going to ruin the racing for this track because of the fact that it's going to happen every single lap we go back under green. So that we're not going to see all these nice, clean battles. So that's why we have cautions off. But I think it's going to be an interesting race. I, we did test here, if you guys are wondering. But who's your pick for this race? I'm going to have to go with the guy on pole, that 77 car of Eric Smallwood. I think he's going to keep his car up there and finish this race in first. Well, I'm going to go with the guy that finished second a lot this season. And that's going to be that 28 car of Brandon Comerford. He's going to get his first career win in the naps. So here's the starting lineup. And here is your driver's command to fire up those engines. Drivers, start your engines. The engines has been fired up here at Lime Rock. Let's hope everyone gets going. Oh, the pole sitter of Eric Smallwood just went up in smoke. Well, that's something you don't see every day. If not, he has a transmission problem or something, or if not, a suspension. As he is tough break for that 77 car. But meanwhile, Mike Kubitschek will lead us down for the green flag as he's going to move up to the front row. And boogity woogity woggity, let's go racing boys, road course style. This is the third time racing this season at a road course. We'll see how well it goes here. See Brandon coming for there, it's gonna look for the lead. Whoa, Josh Rodriguez out of the racetrack. We'll see a lot of guys do that because sometimes they don't know to Whoa, you know, a lot of guys got to so it. 55's around. Whoa, Nick Rodriguez! It's upside down. I'm not surprised by all this hyper racing. This track is very fast and people don't slow down there. And gonna slippery end up too. Themselves. You saw the 20 and the 28 went off the track. Rodriguez there, falling quite a few position. But that 28 car is all over the back bumper of Mike Kiewicek and he will move him out of his way. Bad for the lead. Checking if there's any more trouble. Looks like something happened to Nick Caps. He was back there by Josh Rodriguez. Oh yeah, something did happen to that 6 car, but... 
These leaders. I think Brandon Comerford has the run. No. Brandon Comerford is there, but he can't quite get the pass. Because that 20 card ends up cutting him off. Well, it looks like that 20 card now just got a burst of speed. Something's happened that 28 card. He is slowing down quicker than he has been. Well, he did get in the grass. He probably did have to check up. Ooh, 20 car. And some guys might just follow them. As we have a battle here for fourth. Derek Holoshack and the 31 of Nelson Pagan. And Nelson Pagan! I thought he went off the racetrack. These guys are hitting that grass. This truck is slippery. Also, it's got tight corners at some points and not a lot of room, so that's why a lot of people are running up there close to the wall and hitting the grass. It's kind of just like almost not avoidable. Well, something did happen to Tony Green. He was, I believe, running in the top 15. Tough break for him. How about Eric Powers? Running in 16th. Well, the counter spoke a little bit too soon there, Mike, Frank. Yeah. But you will stay harm's away. Yeah, see, this is the, one of the main reasons why we didn't want to have cautions. You would just see all the, there would be wrecks this whole entire time, and pe pretty much whoever was in the front would stay up in the front. It's kind of like, you know, a way to let... Yeah, I know there's a lot of drivers that end up not be able to have good finishes because they end up wrecking, but that was going to be the case regardless because they would not be able to stop wrecking each other even when they went back under green. Sorry about that. I had a message. But yeah, that track, drivers were complaining how they're going to be taking, taking this corner. How about Dom Cabs in that 24 car? Starting in the back, moved up in the 15th position. Whoa! That was just a product of Ricky Bobby going through that corner way too fast and coming out right in the front of Jared Holoshack. But meanwhile, that 28 car is trying to catch that. I mean, that 28 is trying to catch the 20. I know Brandon Comfort does not want to finish in second. Again, he's been doing that too many times this season. I think he would rather finally get that first win underneath his belt. See, the problem is drivers are like overdriving these corners. And I see Dan Johnson right there passing nice. Derek Holoshack. Nice race for him. Same for that three, 30 car out. Dave Bazaar, right He's now currently in third. Out of trouble. Good run for him. Yes. Nope. Yeah, these guys are just taking these corners a little too fast at some points. That's why they're ending up being right. in the grass and losing contact. Right now, the fastest lap on this track of the race is that 12 car of Dan Johnson. He has posted the fastest lap of the race so far. Here in a 53-94 and brand Oh, Daniel Smallwood will jump to second and ran a 54-28. Oh, Derek Holoshack. He probably, he probably didn't have brakes there, Frank. Yeah, it's a product of road course racing. You may end up losing brakes at some point. Oh, we saw problems with Marco Martinez. Oh, championship contender could be possibly done for the day. Oh, Bruce Lloyd. Oh, jeez. Like, these guys are not really taking the corner very carefully. They are really uh, pushing their cars too much. And then you'll see some like this where they'll run into other cars. It's just a product of this, this racing that they're currently having. But this is going to give advantage to some of those guys that, you know, don't always have strong cars, but they can make a good run because of the fact that all these other cars are wrecking. See, Nate Casper move up to the 19th position. Good run for him. 
It's actually we're starting towards the back. He's able to move up here so far. See Brandon coming for... I forgot I was still on the fastest lap. But I'm trying to go to the get to the leaders here. Cause we do have two to go. See Brandon Comerford is the fastest car right now, and he is catching up to that 20 car. Mike Kiewicek, can he hold up Brandon Comerford and get his second career win? We mean second win of the season, not second. Oh yeah, career. second win. Of the season. While they're battling, how about that four car of Joshua King? He's doing a very good job today. He's up in the 10th position, having a solid finish, maybe possibly. Matt Rodriguez in the top five? That could be his first top five of the season. Well, another very impressive performance by him today. Ooh, Might be good Brandon for him to finally get up there. Roughed up Mike Kibicek off the racetrack, but he's able to hold on. Frank, what do you think what Mike is thinking in his mind of right now? I think he's just trying to find every single way to make sure the 28 car stays behind him at all times able to get this race as we do have white flag out yes white flags in the air that 28 car needs to make something happen as they're going in the dirt they see dirt 28 stuck on the outside side by side Brandon coming for in the 28 he's gonna have the line going to this corner Mike Kiewicek in the dirt new leader Brandon coming for How about Brandon Comerford in that 28 car? He waited for the white flag. But can he make it around the track? Right there. Brandon Comerford leaving the Hendrick squad. And he will get his first career win here in the North America Pro Series. Congratulations for Brennan coming for getting his first career win here at Lime Rock. Great run for him. He finally does not finish second. He's able to pass my Kubacek and get his first career win. Matt Rodriguez finishes in fifth. Holds off Daniel Smallwood. But how about the 32 car of Andrew Rich? Finishes in 10th. As here's your official results. I mean, a lot of cars end up wrecking. From 26 on down. But Nick Cap started in 20. In the top 30, somewhere between like the 28. I believe he started 28, if not 27. He moved all the way to the 13th position. See, Eric Smallwood will get credit for points because his pit box is the first one he was able to cross the finish. Now will be it. We'll see you guys. Race sixteen. Is that correct? Seven seventeen. Yep. Race seventeen at Road Atlanta.